Hi guys, welcome back to this week's Richard on the old John Deere. This week we're going to be um, dehorning our limmy calves, so sit back and enjoy. Let's see if we can get these calves sorted out. Have a couple of buckets of nutty big boy there. I'll feed the cows up the barrier. And then hopefully we can chase the calves out while the cows are eating. So I'll just open the door. Down the middle of the shed to the bottom. Hopefully I can bring the calves back out. Go. There's a couple of cows coming out there, which isn't good. Plenty of calves coming now, that's good. Good job. Can we run that cow back in there? I think they've finished their nutty big boy. I think they all want out now. I think we'll go on to plan B. We'll open this gate here. Hopefully we can run some of the calves into the other pen. See what happened? See how we get on. That's it. Let's go and shut those ones in that we've got. Whoops. Oh dear. Ooh. Look, you didn't let out with those back legs. Or... Could have been a bit painful. All these little guys separated from the cows now so we'll uh, carry on and see if we can get them dehorned they were all castrated when they were tagged so I'll just check to make sure they're all done and We'll see if we can get them into the shed here. Go and put them into that shed there. Go on. Or at least some of them. If I leave four or five out, just to do now. Yes, I know.
one's a heifer. Number 114. There we go. Just up the groove there and pop that in. You can have two pops. Zero, one one twenty, and it's fine. It's a wall, but it's haven't put your spots on. trolley with all my dehorning stuff on. There's a colour gas bottle in the bottom there and that runs round to my dehorning iron here and it's hollow in the top so when the horns are really small just a little bud that goes over the bud you can work round and um, burn round the bud and with a little flick the bud should come out and that will stop it developing because you've stopped the bud supply. Then we've got uh, local anaesthetic here and a syringe that um, two cc's in each side. There's a, there's a groove that runs from the corner of the calf's eye up to its ear. If you go about halfway along there, that's where the uh, nerve that runs up to the horn is. So you put a couple of cc's of local anaesthetic into there and then it shouldn't feel anything when you're dehorning it. If they're a little bit bigger, I've got these uh, dehorning pliers, so they'll nip the, cut the little bit of horn off that is there, and then we can run round with the hot iron, stop the blood supply, and then that'll, it'll not regrow. Um, 
antiseptic spray there. Just give them a little squirt after to stop them getting infected. And a marker spray just to mark them so that we know which ones we've done. And a box of matches to light the thing. A wire brush to keep it clean. And these are the bodizos, what are used for castrating them if there's any that need castrated. And they're the, the tool for doing that job, which we'll, I'm sure we'll cover in another video one day. But for today, we'll get this fired up and we'll see if we can get a few dehorned. There we go. Right, we'll see if we can get a, some of these calves back in to get them. Sorted. <laughs> yeah. A little squirt of antiseptic spray just to make sure they don't get infected. <laughs> They're quite big there. I think I might need to chop those and then just use a hot iron to cauterize the stop the blood flow. That's it.
that's all these guys do. So we'll uh, let the mummies out and see what happens. See if they're happy. Hope you've all enjoyed this week's video. If you have, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see some more, hit the subscribe button. Nigel, will you go away? I'm getting, a, I'm getting accosted by a bull. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I think that's it, wrapped it up for this week. So um, until next week, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye for now. Bye you all, bye.